For God's sake, I thought it was going to rain tomorrow, not today. I should have stayed on the bastard trail. God's sake. Oh, shit. I'm miles away from home. Hey guys, I hope you like my new Indiana Jones hat. Let me know in the comment section what you think of it. I'm currently out near Guanaxan Mountain in a place called Guachon City. And to get here from Seoul City Centre takes about an hour. And I've come here because in this video, I want to show you the difference between the cherry blossom in the city and the cherry blossom out here in the nature. So just behind me down there, you might be able to see in the background, there's some cherry blossom trees. But before we go there, I'm going to walk around this area and show you some really cool things. There's a lot of history around here and I'm going to show you something really cool when we walk around the other side. But, sorry, sorry doggy. But before we get to that, I want to show you this big gold statue here. This is Dan Kun, and that was the founder of the Joseon dynasty. And these are some of the depictions of the kings of the Joseon dynasty made of wood from Guanaxan. And here you can see all of the kings of the Joseon dynasty sat on their thrones, wearing the traditional hanbok. This is some beautiful cherry blossom. And up on the left behind it, this golf ball looking thing is a satellite and that's the very top of Guanaxan Mountain. Guanaxan is a beautiful hike and it's not too hard. And from the top of it, you've got great views over Seoul because it's in the south. So you're looking north towards North Korea and you can see all of Seoul, it's pretty sick. And unfortunately, when you get to the very top of Guanaxan, there's loads of barbed wire and fencing and like satellite dishes. So it kind of takes away from the beauty, but still on the way up is a beautiful hike. The reason I'm wearing this hat is gonna all make sense very soon. I'm just having a gander down the stream and up on here, there's some inscriptions in the rock, which could be over a thousand years old, just up here. What I am sure about is that is not Korean writing. I think it's Hanja. If you know any better and I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section. I'm not an expert on Korean history or anything. I'm just like an enthusiast and I like to, discover all this cool stuff. Like you saw last week's video, I was going around Yongdungpu, the most dangerous area, just exploring there. Now I'm in the middle of nature exploring this and I found these cool inscriptions. So I like to explore, but I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I think it's Hanja. And that's why it's possibly over a thousand years old because Hangul was invented by King Sejong the Great in 1443. Bloody hell, I'm gonna climb up this Fuck oh, shit, this is hard with one hand and a camera. This is the worst vlogging ever. So I'm gonna climb up this mountain, we're gonna take a look mountain. What am I on about? It's not a mountain. It's barely even a hill. Right, I'm gonna climb up this tiny hill to look at this inscriptions. So it looks kind of weathered. There's no light cheese on it, so it could be uh, over a thousand years old. I'm not too sure, but it's cool. I'm really intrigued as to why it's here. I have a small inclination, as you're going to find out when we head further down there, but this is very cool. It is really cool. I'm going to head down the stream now, show you the cherry blossoms and a really beautiful temple. The cherry blossoms are really beautiful next to the stream and they look even brighter next to all the green bushes. But the thing I'm most interested in is a little temple up here. Let's go check it out. I was wrong. This isn't a temple, it's actually a hangyo. And that's an educational institution which was established during the Joseon dynasty. And it's where students came to learn about the doctrines of Confucianism. The colors of this are absolutely beautiful. The views from here, walking up here, You've got the beautiful temple entrance, the greenery, and the cherry blossoms on the left. This is really colorful. This is really nice. Let's look over the wall and have a look what it's like inside. Oh wow, that looks really nice. It's got the typical style of the Korean roofs where they kind of slant down. And I love these colors. So neutral and satisfying. Lovely. Perhaps the inscriptions have got something to do with this temple being here. I keep saying temple. I guess you can kind of call it a temple. It's a temple of studying Confucianism, I guess. 
let's call it a school. So I guess maybe the inscriptions have got something to do with the school being here. This is beautiful. This is so nice and peaceful. So if you saw yesterday's video when I went to the Hangjechon stream and I went to Ansan Mountain there, it was so busy. It's really quiet here, which is nice. This temple was originally at the foot of Mount Guanak in 1398, but moved to its present location in 1690 after several fires. I don't think it could be in a better spot next to this beautiful little stream. I think beautiful is my favorite word to explain everything. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Cherry blossom in Korea is amazing. Now I'm going to head to the train station and catch a subway to Ichon on the Green Line, which is just below Namsan Tower because I've left my bicycle there. From there, I'm going to cycle along the Han River to Sinchon because I want to show you Sinchon because on the main road there is full of cherry blossom. And I want to show you the contrast between being out here in nature and being in a populated area like they're still both beautiful but just so you can see the difference and i've made two cherry blossom videos in a row because unfortunately tomorrow on saturday is going to rain and i think it's going to wash away all the cherry blossoms so maybe this is the last day so if you're not already a subscriber make sure you click that red button you've got the bell turned on and if you're liking this video give it a cheeky little like I'm filming this video on the 2nd of April and already on the floor you can see the cherry blossoms are starting to fall off so it's very quick. The cherry blossom season is literally like two weeks long. So if you're a tourist and you're wanting to visit Korea, in my opinion the best time to come is during the cherry blossom season. Not only to see that but also the weather is perfect. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. It's like I'm just out now in a shirt and shorts. I always wear shorts, even in the winter, I'm English, but it's, it's nice, like it's a perfect time to come. In the winter, it's like minus 20, it's freezing cold. In the summer, it's extremely hot and it's humid. If you're in Seoul city center, all the people, all the car exhausts, all the factory dust coming over from China, it's a very humid city to be in. So if you're wanting to visit and just have that perfect weather, the perfect time of season, the cherry blossom season, towards the end of March, the start of April. That's the best time, in my opinion, to come and visit Korea. And look at this, I'm just walking from Guanaxan through Guachon City towards the train station. And look at all these cherry blossom trees. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to not say beautiful. My new word is gorgeous. Look how gorgeous it is. It's extremely gorgeous. Oh my God, this old guy with the dog thinks I'm crazy. I am. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. I should sell this video to this couple. Look at this. This is like marriage video material. Beautiful, lovely. And here we have the cherry blossom season. Beautiful. It's extremely gorgeous. Gorgeous. What do you think of my new exploring hat? This is my summer hat keeps the sun off my bald head and also looks extremely cool don't you think even though this is a beautiful cherry blossom video i'm gonna make a few complaints the number one complaint is when you go to the subway and go underground it's absolutely massive like i come underground and i'm like i'm here i want to get on the train but no i have to walk three kilometers i'm such a grumpy adjoshi that's looking cool still though no it's not wait stupid hat. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you'll probably be wondering why I went to Ichon and not Hongdae. Simple reason, I'd rather ride my bicycle than go on the subway at rush hour. After work, when the sun's about to set, it's 
bit cloudy today, but normally when the sun's setting over the Yoido skyline over there, you've got the big gold tower. It's a nice bike ride, it's a good bit of exercise. And if you look over on the other side of the Han River, at the gold tower, you can see some more cherry blossom. So along that road there near Yoido Park is another really popular spot for cherry blossom. But I'm not too keen on it because it's very busy of loads of people, like hundreds and thousands of people just taking loads of selfies on Instagram. And also there's a busy road. Oh my God, it's raining. It's raining, I better get home quickly. Well, it's gonna start pissing it down. Bollocks, dog bollocks, shit a dick. For sake, man. For God's sake, I thought it was gonna rain tomorrow, not today. I should have stayed on the bastard trail. God's sake. Oh, shit. I'm miles away from home. Worst day ever. I've made it to Sintron Ogori, and luckily it stopped raining. And right here by the junction, there's loads of cherry blossom trees. And they wrap around the corner and go down the main street of Sinchon. All right, I'm gonna hop over this fence and I'll show you down the main street of Sinchon so you can see how beautiful it is, right next to this busy junction. And the great thing about this road on a weekend is they block it off so it's only for pedestrians. It's really busy, there's loads of atmosphere. And if it was a clear sky blue day, it would be beautiful to come and drink some beers with your buddies. But I've got no buddies, so I've come alone like a loser. I was here about two days ago and it was really sunny, clear blue skies. And when I was walking down here, it was beautiful because it was like the peak of the cherry blossom. Now I'm just gonna have to wait another year to see that. Brilliant. If you enjoyed this video of seeing the contrast between cherry blossom in the nature and cherry blossom in the city if you have give it a like and then I'll like you so if you want to see more videos about Korea let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video Yosh.